I think if there's a high level of toxins too, so when you're thinking about homocysteine being at that junction, supporting either methylation or actually also transsulfuration, which is that other pathway that supports the detoxification. So if homocysteine is being pulled down because someone's at a high exposure to chemicals or toxins, perhaps it's depleting that homocysteine or they have a really low protein diet. That's the other thing I've seen when homocysteine has been really low. They're just mm. re- not eating enough protein. But, so they're not know, taking in enough methionine and therefore it's not converting to homocysteine. Yeah, because it's, it is an, even though it's, it's an intermediate amino acid so that you're not actually eating the homocysteine, but it's obviously from that pathway, exactly that methionine can be then broken. But when it's under five, it's usually something's really wrong. It's not, yeah, like, yeah. It's not like, oh, this, this, there's like some superficial methylation issue. There's okay. Either you're just like not eating enough. you got some condition, right? Yeah, there's generally something. And if you, even I've got one patient now who she eats so well, she used to have an eating disorder. So I wonder if maybe there's some major gut issues going on and she's not absorbing or uh, I'm not sure. We're just doing some stool analysis now, maybe an infection or something. There's got to be something else, but hers is really low. She's an unusual case where I just don't know what it is at the moment, but there's got to be something because she actually is eating enough protein and she lives a super Mm -hmm. clean life. But most of the time, they're the issues. But as you said, high is, is the thing that is a concern for most people. 